So sometimes if you have a seized hard disk that you just want to recover the data from, um, there's one thing you can do and uh, if I if I try and turn it on, the, the sound you hear in the background is a fan, but the hard disk is clearly not powering on. This hard disk has been sitting for quite a while, probably 10-15 years, and um, it's obviously not going to be detected on this computer. So there is one way, one thing you can do to unseize the hard disk. Well, also it won't be detected because yeah, the IDE cable is disconnected. <laughs> but either way, it's not spinning so we'll uh, manually try and unseize it. And once you do this, the hard disk is gone. You can't use it anymore. It's only for data recovery at that point. All right, I had to loosen the cover a little bit uh, so it'll more easily come off. So, removing the cover. There we go. And it's currently powered, but it's not spinning, so we are not seeing any movement whatsoever. So what we want to do is carefully, very gently, try and spin the disk. And sometimes it'll unseize. There we go. All right. Okay. Remember, once you do this, the hard disk is only for data recovery. Seized real bad here. Okay, it's okay. There we go. Come on. All right. So after spinning it a couple of times, I was I was able to unseize it. There we go. Power it off. Power it back on. It's gonna seize itself if if I let it stop completely. So it is purely data recovery efforts. And currently the head isn't moving back and forth. And it's to do with the uh, motor head motor it is completely seized up this one too so we'll have to restart it a couple more times until it starts moving freely so you can see it's It's moving further and further. And now it's stuck. So we can see it's now going further in its calibration routine. but still not completing a full cycle. It should calibrate and move the head all the way from one end to another. So I'll just keep cycling it. Progress. So after cycling this thing for a couple, a couple times, this is now what happens.
so we're still not getting all the way to the end but we're getting closer now rebooting the computer I will remind you again this hard disk is ruined in any kind of production unit <laughs> It's still not detecting the sector. Still failing to move the head all the way from one end to another, which is expected. This is a hard disk literally sat in fit for 15 years, and my concern is trying to recover the data. There we go. All right. So if we can reco recover the data, then everything else is. All right, there we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. There we go. I don't know what this hard disk contains, but... We will be recovering data from it shortly. Now that it's actually live again. This is expected. Let's see how much we can recover before the hard disk actually dies. What we're going to attempt to do is we're going to transfer the data over a slow serial link connection from this computer to this computer. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to boot this up into a floppy disk. Uh, that I've specially made and it has MS-DOS 6 6.2 and a program called InterSVR or InterServer and we're gonna just go ahead and boot from the floppy here We already know the hard disk is readable. I've recovered it. Recovered. Covered the hard disk. Right. Enter SVR. And we're going to start a server program. Okay, so the hard disk is detected. You can see it right there. And this is Microsoft Interlink server. All right, we're done here. Now we'll go onto this computer, reboot. There we go. We can detect a hard disk. Let's just exit out of the menu. And we should now be able to access the hard disk H we'll go over here and there's the hard disk contents from a completely broken hard disk to at least recoverable one and we'll just go ahead and snatch everything and folks this will take a while there we go one file at a time or not I guess whatever we can. We'll worry about the other files later.
Looks like just retrying seems to work, so I guess that's what we'll do. And the program I'm actually using, the file manager, it's called Norden Commander and very useful for all kinds of DOS tasks. Here's a uh, retry. Retry. Third time's the charm. So, there's a program called Midnight Commander on Linux. So, you can use that as a replacement. There we go. Just retry. Retry and eventually I'm hoping that I'll be able to recover most of the files. Alright, that's it for now. <laughs>